Cotton Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now remember, this is a wicked and perverse generation. We know that. We all know, those of you who aren't even saved know we're living in the last days. But this is what I want to say. I heard a message. I want to comment on a few things. I heard a message that I added to my to my Pat's Two Cents playlist. This woman shared how God said, right now, he's getting rid of rats. Rats. But he's dealing first with the body of Christ. Judgment begins at the house of God. Now, I'm not going to preach it for her. You can hear it right on my playlist. It's the second video. Maybe the third or fourth after I upload these two. Okay, but listen. Those of us who are born-again Christians, we have to be very careful to put one foot in front of the other on the right path. This is not a time for deviation. This is a not this is not a time for playing with our little sinful toys, uh, you know, eating, drinking, and being merry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is not that time. We can enjoy our life, yes, but we must toe the line. God is going to be very, very selective in through here. Those that get blessed and those that get swept. I'm going to stop there for that one. Now, number two, we also have to watch not getting too caught up in all the little fires that the government is putting out. Because listen, when we deal with these fires, I have heard, I don't know if you've heard of this word, it's not a big one, but this is what came to my mind for this video, the word diversion how one creates a diversion. For some reason, these diversions are being set. And if you get people busy here, people there, people there, rescue efforts, putting out fires, uh, uh, oh, delivering food, uh, I am trying to explain I'm, I'm trying to get my words together because I really believe that this is a time where it is, you know, the Bible says, thank you, Lord, the devil is the author of confusion. That is what we're looking at right now. We're going to have so many frenzies and so many fires and floods and earthquakes and all kind of stuff going on. Folks won't know where to run to go rescue somebody. And some folks, pr frantic and, and, and panicking, won't know where to run to get safe. So the, it's a reason for t causing the diversions. There is a reason. You guys, we all need to pray and stay peaceful and be still. The Bible says in Psalms 46, be still and know that I am God. Quit tripping. You got me. We have got to seek God like never before and ask him at every move, every turn, what now? What shall I do? What should my response be? Do I move? Do I stay? Do I go and spend a week with my mother, my cousin, my brother, my sister? Do I reunite with a husband I've been separated with or a wife I've been separated with? Should the family be together through the crisis that is to come? Because there are more. Strategy, remember, the enemy's strategy. Create diversions and everybody loses focus. Mm-hmm. 
Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. When Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and concentrated on the wave coming and the wind blowing, and whoo, he started sinking, didn't he? But as soon as he got his eyes back on Jesus, God, I mean, he said, Jesus, please save me. He was walking on the water again to get back in that boat. But he walked on water. We, trust me, through all of the chaos, if we keep our eyes on him, so will we. You'll be shocked at the kind of miracles God will bring. Because where there are desperate times, he has desperate miracles. Remember that.